I'm going to show you today how to install a trickle charger on this Kawasaki Mule SX. show you how these plastic rivets work all around this mule when you're trying to take panels off it's got a there's a tool for this it's a pair of pliers it grabs um, kind of in a fashion like, like this and it'll grab from each side and help you lift the center pin but if you don't have that tool I, I just use a pick like this and just come on each side and just try to lift it up a little bit like that it'll just come up you can just work it by hand and then when that little bit comes up, you're able to just pull that out with another pair of pliers or something and get that piece elevated like that. And then the whole thing will come through. So that's all they are. And you don't need a fancy tool for it, but it, it is helpful. It would make it go quicker. Here's the trickle charger that I bought it's from a company called Schmacher. This is a one and a half amp, just a maintainer, keep it tucked off. What I'm gonna do is on this mule, I took this panel here off, and now I'm gonna just remove this screw here, and then I'm gonna widen that hole a little bit. I'm just gonna bolt it right there and use the double-sided tape that they provide on the back and just stick it right there. That way my cable can come down, I can plug it in, and when I'm not using it, I'll just tuck the uh, electrical cable here and then it won't go dangling around that should work And then to finish up, I'm just gonna attach my positive and negative cables. Um, got the negative here at the grounding point, and then I'm gonna take the positive and put it right onto the positive post on the battery, and that'll be it. We'll be ready to go with this um, trickle charger permanently installed. And do a quick test here. And here we go, we're charging. All right, well, there you go. Um, this is gonna be really handy because I've got a lot of accessories on here with the winch and everything else. So plugging it, in, plugging it into a battery tender at night will keep that battery topped off and it'll last a lot longer uh, than if I just left it be by itself. These stators on these mules are not super powerful to charge that battery up every time you're doing short little runs with it. So, hey, I hope this video was helpful. I hope this information was useful to you. And as always, I hope you have a great day.